In this video, we'll be looking at a model that uses the standard flow library as well as an example extended flow library that provides additional flow related objects. So let me start the model running and you can see we have a tank which flows into a filler and the filled objects then are palletized. And so if we look at the model in, in 3D, you can get a better view of what's going on. So the tank is emptying into the filler. The filler is putting discrete amounts into bottles. Bottles are then palletized. The completed pallets then flow around to the ship object and the flow of pallets into the ship object is what triggers uh, the refill of the tank. Okay, let's go back and look at some of the details of the model now. So the first object over here on the left is a tank object. So let me stretch this out a little bit. And you can see that we have the capacity type set to weight and the initial capacity at 4 kilograms. For the initial contents in the tank uh, is a repeat group. So we open that up and we see that we have 4 kilograms of the entity type filler material. So the tank starts initially full. And here's the filler material uh, model entity that we created. And the uh, auto refill mode uh, is set to refill when a specific event occurs. And the event that we've selected is input on ship entered. So here's the ship object. So as we saw, when a pallet comes along the path and enters this input object, that triggers the tank refill. And of course, we ref refill the tank with the same uh, filler material uh, entity type. So we have a flow connector that connects the tank to the filler object and the key to the flow connector are the two regulators on the end. So we just have the default value set to the initial flow of 100 cubic meters per hour, uh, a maximum flow rate uh, at both regulators uh, coming out of the tank and going into the filler. Next we have the actual filler object, which as I mentioned before comes from a example extended flow library. So you can see the filler uh, right here. Let me zoom in a little bit on the filler. And you can see that the filler object takes two inputs. It takes a flow input through the flow connector and the flow valve. And it takes a discrete input which corresponds to the entities being filled. So we have a, a source object that creates entities of type bottle and we've just arbitrarily set the inner arrival time to be uh, exponential or dis exponentially distributed uh, with a mean of 0.1 minutes. So a bottle arrives and the flow um, is coming through the flow regulator and the filler then will fill 0.25 kilograms in each entity and emit a discrete bottle entity. So the filled bottles then are placed on a conveyor and the conveyor is set to a speed of one meter per second and the conveyor transport the bottles into the combiner and so the combiner also takes two inputs this time both discrete we have the bottle input from the conveyor and we have the pallet input uh, from right here on the top and so we have created another model entity and called it pallet and created a source object to create pallets interestingly the triggering event for the source is the output on combiner one into, uh, entered. So when a completed pallet enters the uh, output node, that's the signal for the source to create an empty pallet. So this would be equivalent to always having an empty pallet available when one leaves. So the combiner will take six bottles to create a pallet. And so again, the completed pallets are then uh, placed on the path and flow back around to the ship object and the ship object as we said earlier is what triggers the refill of the tank and so again in summary we have a tank we have a flow connector that uh, transmits flow into a filler object which takes the flow and the discrete bottles and creates full bottles the full bottles are then conveyed to a combiner which takes a pallet object and creates the full pallet